Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Wednesday morning, it is the 24th day of January. My name is Rich, 408 in the morning, and temperatures are in the 30s right now. Clear as a bell, not a cloud in the sky, and a lot less drama this week than at this time last week, right? Uh, we'll talk about this string of uh, nice days and how long it's going to last. In fact, I'll bring you up to date on that weekend storm system that could affect a lot of plans and may dump a lot of rainfall in spots. Plus, we'll look ahead at the next 16 days, see if there's any surprises, any Arctic air in our future, and stick around on this video because I'm going to tell you about a great space station flyover tonight. Pretty nice January day today. We are on the cool side of high pressure uh, with uh, northerly winds, but not as windy as uh, it was yesterday. So we'll say uh, cool sunshine with temperatures around 57, which, by the way, is exactly normal for this time of the year. 57, 58, somewhere in there. Mostly sunny skies. Tonight slowed down to about 31. Again, uh, not quite as much wind as yesterday. Northwest at 6 to 12 miles per hour today, diminishing to near zero later on tonight. And then a nice day tomorrow. We're a little bit warmer. I think we're around 60 degrees. High pressure plopped right over northern Alabama tomorrow. And sunshine warmer on Friday. I think we're into the low 60s. Clouds increasing Friday night. Could be some showers late Friday night. And then, But this is Saturday noon. See how the rain is edging into the state? So we may start dry in the morning and dry maybe midday hours. But then showers increasing later on Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. Could be uh, some soaking rains in some areas, especially across the southern part of the state. And there's that low-pressure area south of Mobile Bay on Sunday morning at uh, 6 a.m. The rain continues across Alabama, a big shield of rain. And uh, by Sunday noon, it starts to edge a little farther to the east, but I think much of Sunday will be dominated with a good chance of showers ending by about evening. And the rainfall amounts could be uh, heaviest, I think, in south Alabama, more than two inches, maybe, um, maybe even heavier towards the coast. One and a half inches around Montgomery, about an inch towards Clanton, and uh, less than that in northern uh, Alabama. So I've got it as us at 61 Thursday, 62 Friday. And then on Saturday, showers increasing with the rain chances up to 70% by Saturday night and a 50-50 chance left over on Sunday with a high of 62 and then uh, dry on Monday back behind it. This is the European out 10 days showing the warmest day over the weekend as we warm towards Friday and Saturday. And then the storm system, the blue bars at the bottom, Saturday, Saturday night, then uh, a little cooler. Then another storm system around February 1st and 2nd. This is the Europeans' temperatures. It uh, peaks us into the low to mid-60s by Saturday before we cool down back behind that system. And Tuesday looks like a chilly day. But then, as we get uh, looking at the GFS here, uh, really no shocking Arctic air, I don't think. Over the next 16 days, we have a mixture of 50s and 60s, and the Arctic floodgates for now remain closed. They'll come back at us in February. We know that. Spring countdown, 55 days till the vernal equinox on March 21st. Equinox, that is. And a great space station flyover this evening. I think this is going to be a really bright one. Uh, 6.11 p.m. to 6.14 p.m. Uh, from the southwest to the northeast. It's great. Make sure you tell the kids because it's worth your time. I only tell you about the ones that are pretty spectacular, and I think this one is. Two point two. Well, the last time I made a Wednesday video for you, uh, it was a bit surreal at this hour. The snow was still piling up. I ended up with uh, three inches here. Then I published your video. Then that uh, tough commute across town to the station and even a tougher ride home on complete ice. Just an amazing morning. Hard to realize that everything that has happened since then, the extreme cold, then the warm-up, then the heavy rain on Monday. Just hard to wrap my head around uh, this week in weather. And um, uh, it's something I won't forget. Uh, I would say things look very different on this particular Wednesday morning from what we had last Wednesday morning. Wow. Have a great day today. We're live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 with Greg, Jay, Emily, and Baby will be there by my side as well. There she is, right? She's right in back of me right now. Uh, and uh, of course, your forecast when you're out and about anywhere, anytime you want it, across the dial on eight radio stations. The Blue Water family of stations twice an hour and another video for you. First thing tomorrow morning, you can count on it. Take it to the bank. Have a good one. I'll see you later. Rich Thomas Weather.